Are you looking to attract more love or money into your life? Do you want to enhance your beauty and how others see you? Do you need protection? I've created these bath salts and perfumes to do just that. Go to my website, zenwithemmy.com, and use codes 10 off for 10% off or 10 off 75 when you make a purchase. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Zen Within Me. Okay, today's reading is going to be a love and career reading for Aries Sun Moon Rising. So without further ado, my darlings, let's get into it. Okay, gods, guardians, ancestors, angels, and ancient gods, please give me clear and concise messages for Aries Sun Moon Rising regarding their love life and their career. What does Aries need to know at this time regarding their love life and their career? Okay, so for some reason, Aries, you are, I'm seeing here, you're on the defensive. You're being on the defensive. You are very independent. But I think it's because you're so independent that you're on the defensive. So you have here with the Page of Cups, you have somebody, let me make sure this is clear for you. There we go. Okay, so we have with the Page of Cups, uh, you might be dealing with a Pisces. Um, you're getting some kind of like news message or invitation, but it, it's coming in, in a nice way. You know, it's coming from a good place. And you are defensive. You're very defensive. Let's get some more info here. I feel that the person it's coming from, you may not trust them. Or you just might be going through some stuff at this time. So you're not really trusting anyone. So even though this person is coming from a good place and normally you can trust them, you're just kind of like, mm, mm, no, for whatever reason, you're not having it. All right. So let's, let's see what's going on. What's going on here with love. This could be a new relationship that you're in. So because you don't know this person very well, even though they're being very nice, you're kind of like, mm, it's too good to be true, eyebrow up. Um, if you're already in a relationship with this person, maybe they did something in the past and now they're being really nice and you're like, what did you do? You're being too nice. You messed up. What'd you do? What'd you do? You know, it could be something like that. And then for career, it could be, you know, uh, maybe a supervisor or something like that. Somebody's being really nice and you're like, okay, what do you want? You want me to work overtime? Like what, what, what do you want? Why are you being so nice? Like th th that's the energy that I'm getting here. All right. So regarding love, what's going on with Aries? Regarding love, what's going on with Aries? Regarding love, what's going on with Aries? Okay, meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, friendship. So for some of you, this is somebody you're going to get together, you know, have a, a drink, coffee, whatever, latte. Um, this person makes you feel better. So this could be somebody like, like I said, for some of you, you might be going through something and this person's like, hey, let's just go out. Let's have a drink. Let's get together. And you're like, why is this going to be like um, an intervention? Like, Why? And you're defensive and they're like, no, I just want to talk to you. Like, just, you know, we're friends. Let's just get together and hang out, you know? And then they're, they may have an ulterior motive here because this is feeling uplifted. They may know that, you know, this could be like a best friend or something like that, or even somebody that you're in a relationship with and they know, you know, you're going through something or you're just having an off time and it happens to all of us and they just want to make you feel better. So they are, you know, trying to just take you out and be nice to make you feel better. There, there may not be anything like underlying that you need to be concerned about. You know what I mean? But you are in defensive mode. So then we have self-indulgence, focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, and self-appreciation. So yeah, you definitely are being a little edgy, um, a little mean, a little um, attackish, you know, defensive, and uh, you just need to uh, just have some you time and work on that. And if you have somebody that is in your life and they're, you know, whether it's a love relationship, friendship, family, whatever, and they're just trying to take you out and make you feel better, 
it's not a bad thing, you know. It, it means they love you and they're just they're coming from a good place because they see you're not having a good time right now, you know, and they're just trying to they're just trying to help. It is coming from a genuine place here. It is coming from a place of love. Okay, with the page of cups here. Okay. All right. So now let's see career-wise what is going on. What is going on with Aries? career-wise what is going on with Aries career-wise <laughs> oh my god that that face it's amazing I love it all right so career-wise and it's funny I asked for career and then this one comes out okay so career-wise, this is the lovers. This is all about a choice. Uh, you may also be dealing with a Gemini. This could be a union of some kind, uh, passion, self-love, uh, but this is also, like I said, a choice. So you may have to make a choice here. Let's put this up here. What is this choice? Please clarify the lovers for career for Aries. Maybe you have to switch jobs, positions, you have to make a choice if you want to work that overtime or not. You know, whatever it is they're asking you to do, you have to make a choice. It's up to you. Please clarify the lovers here. Okay, so we have the five of cups coming through. This is disappointment, regret, uh, loss, frustration, sorry. Pull another card. You're very frustrated with this choice that you have to make at work, which explains why you're on the defensive. I feel, you know what? I feel here because you have, you need time for yourself. I'm feeling that you might be overworked, and this is actually flowing into your love life as well. It could be that you're overworked. They're just asking you too much, like too much of you, and you're just you're tired. It's it's a choice is yours. You know, but you're just, you're tired. You don't want to do it anymore. And you don't want to say no. You may also need the money. And that's why you're like really pissed off. Because you know you need the money. And it's like, well, I can't say no because I need the money. But it's like, I need a break too. So what do I do? Understandable. All right. So then the next card after the Five of Cups was with you feeling frustrated we have the Eight of Wands here. And the Eight of Wands is actually um, excitement, swift action. Um, this could be uh, communication, um, possibly going on a trip. Okay. Things happening quickly. Okay. Then we have the Four of Coins after that, which is the Four of Pentacles. And that's um, like keeping what belongs to you, saving your resources, not wanting to give up, you know, finances or I'm getting here like control. So I'm feeling like this is something that is like last minute. That's what I'm getting here with the eight of wands. This is something last minute. It could be that they ask you last minute to like stay or, or like stay overtime or work. The, the weekend if you were supposed to be off or maybe go on a trip last minute work related that you were not planning on you know and with the four of pentacles here like you you don't you know it's your choice and you really don't want to you know keeping what belongs to you you just you want to keep the fact that it, you have a say you know you just you want to keep your wits about you, too. All right, then we have the King of Wands here. Jafar. Ha, ha, ha. All right, so King of Wands. Wands is fire energy. So we have um, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius that you might be dealing with. This is Aries. So this could be your reading. This says it's a male, but it's not gender specific, okay? Um, so this is somebody that is uh, very passionate, very creative, 
Um, this is also somebody that could be very hot tempered. Um, I'm getting like almost like a bully, you know, like the way Jafar was. This is actually the best card for him where it's like, no, I want you to do this. You're going to do that. But I feel here you want to keep that control and stay within that energy, your power. So um, if you don't want to go, then just say no. Okay. Now let's see. I'm going to go to my initials, traits, and features oracle deck. I'm going to just be using the letters to see who are you dealing with. Now, this could be for love or career, okay? Who is Aries dealing with? Who is Aries dealing with? This is a general reading, so who is Aries dealing with? Who is Aries dealing with? Last shuffle, who is Aries dealing with? Okay, so let's see. Okay, I'm getting pigeon. Something to do with a pigeon here. Is somebody in New York? We got a lot of pigeons there. No, I, I miss my New York pigeons. They were tough sons of bitches, man. <laughs> They'll actually be walking across the street like, hey, I'm walking here. <laughs> Do you not see me? <laughs> okay, so I got pigeon. Um, pigeon, pigeons. Um, I'm also seeing something here with pig. Pig is spelled out. Also pie is spelled out. So that could be like baked apple pie or like a pizza pie, pizzeria. Hi, I'm also seeing Joe. Joe is spelled out. J-O-E. Let me show you. Joe is spelled out. Okay. And also Poe is spelled out. Someone might be um, a poet or like an Edgar Allan Poe fan. Somebody writes. Oh, I'm also seeing here Pose. Pose, Pose, Pose. So someone might be a model or... Um, that show pose. I love that show pose. Did you see that show pose? Oh my God. I wonder if there's a new season out. It didn't get canceled, right? Um, something to do with pose, like that lifestyle or anything to do with that show that may um, resonate in your life or someone from the cast, you know? Uh, then we have jig. So someone might be Irish here, dances or um, just likes to use slang. The jig is up, you know? Uh, let's see. Hmm. Also, jip. Somebody feels like they got gypped, which I feel maybe at work, maybe they don't always pay you for the hours properly that, you know, you work overtime and then there's an issue with your paycheck and it's like, come on. Um, which could have pie, piece of the pie, money. It could also be there feeling like you got gypped. Okay. Hmm. Also, somebody, you're being told to go. Okay. I'm going to leave the letters to you toward Jumble. Okay, so with the letter J, I, G, O, P, S, and E. So this could be someone's first, middle, last initial, city, state, or country they live in, or any way that this um, makes sense to describe your person or your job or anyone that you're dealing with. Okay. Okay. All right, so you have to make a choice when it comes to work, okay? You have to do your best to just make a choice. And then as far as love goes, try not to be so defensive. They do have your best interest at heart, okay? All right, so let's see. What messages of guidance do we have for Aries at this time regarding love and career? What messages of guidance do we have? Okay, so if you had a yes or no question, your answer is yes. Your intuition is correct. Take action accordingly. That's for either, love, career, or both. A new dawn. The worst is now behind you, and positive new experiences are on the horizon. And soulmate relationship. Ooh, new romance with a spiritual basis is here for you now. Love that. Okay, let's see. 
What other messages do we have? For Aries. Okay, so you deserve good things. Keep your focus on what you want. What other messages do we have for Aries? Time to move on. Flow with the river. See where it takes you. And we have explore, love, and create. The only thing that holds you back is you. There's my finger. You see that you? Yeah, you. Where's the camera? There, you. <laughs> okay. All right, so those are your messages. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, watching, and subscribing. Please click the bell and select all so you'll be notified every time I post new content. If you have any um, pick-a-card topics that you would like me to cover, just please feel free to comment that down below in the description box. Um, if you'd like to purchase my Oracle deck, you can do so at my Etsy shop or my website. The links are down below in the description box. And if you want to purchase any spell products, I have just two sets left of my Money Enchanted uh, Bath Salts and Fragrance. And I have one left of my Love and Attraction Goddess uh, Perfume. And then I'm doing custom orders of the Bath Salts. So if you order them, you'll get it within a week. Um, it's just going to take me a couple days to make it before I ship it out because now I'm making it custom to you with your name and your intentions. So you have to make sure that you add your full name when you purchase and your intention. So when I make it for you, um, it's custom to you. Okay. Okay. So that is it. Thank you guys so much. Oh, and if you have any real estate needs, check out my other YouTube channel, Sam with Emmy Homes. Peace and love. Stay safe. And I will see you in the next reading.